Afternoon viewers, uh, we're up to video 11 now with this uh, van conversion. Uh, not got much done uh, as regards forward progress. I've been dodging in and out at showers most of this weekend. But uh, we've got a lick of paint on floor in van. Uh, it's only had one, uh, one coat of uh, smooth right hammer. It, uh, it's tied it floor up nicely. It does look in places like it's it's got rust on it right round here but uh, it's not rust it's uh, it's tar what's leached out at uh, sound deadening pads what's stuck in floor and uh, as I've used it solvent in paints uh, leached some at, uh, some at tar out at uh, sound deadening pads but uh, it's not an issue. Uh, it'll probably cover all once uh, once it has second coat. It'll uh, it should cover all that. Uh, them seat mounts they've got to come out and be powder coated. Gonna do them in black obviously. Um, yeah. So as regards that, that's uh, that's not much forward progress. Spaghetti's out now. I can't remember if I showed you this in last. Last video, but uh, that's engine bay part at uh, wiring loom. That's for diesel one, which is totally different to uh, petrol one. But uh, looking tidy now. Uh, 1.8 Z take motor is out of that one. I whipped that out this morning. While this is out, it's going to get uh, a new timing belt, no auxiliary belt. Uh, I'm going to clean it all up. Uh, it wants a clutch because uh, even though it drove really nice and it were all oh, gears were absolutely spot on, pedal were were pretty close to the top. So uh, while it's out, it's easy enough to throw a clutch in it and uh, end up timing belt. I'm going to change rocker cover as well. Uh, this is a standard rocker cover. It's called a, uh, I call them silver tops for obvious reasons. But uh, when I first bought my powder coating oven. Uh, I did a Z-Tech rocker cover for somebody. Uh, they wanted it doing in uh, in blue, so I did that for them. Powder coated it's uh, it's candy blue, and uh, I thought it looked so spot on. Anyway, when it come to paying for it, he didn't want to pay for it. He wanted it doing for now, so. Uh, it's been <laughs> it's, it's been on my wall ever since, so uh, that's going to go on to uh, onto this engine. And uh, it's uh, they've got uh, alloy sump on them, so that should all clean up. Now I don't know if you can see that, but that that tells you it's 1.8. It. Uh, to say it's only on 35,000 miles, there's quite a bit of oil on it. And from what I can see, I think it's rocker cover gasket what's leaking. Because uh, the, the rubber on these, they're not caulked like they used to be. And uh, I've heard if you don't use them much, they tend to shrink or, or go brittle. Anyway, that's by the by. So when rocker cover's off, it'll get a new gasket and hopefully... I'll power wash all that off, clean it off, might even polish sump if, uh, if I'm that way out, paint it up and uh, make it look a presentable lump. Uh, these that drive shafts off at car and hubs, uh, they're not in particularly good, good neat but I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, wire brush all them down and smooth hammer right them. And uh, 
duct suspension legs and all. I've put van ones back on here. As you can see, van ones are in an even worse state. So that van, van shock absorbers. They were mega crusty. So uh, they've gone back on this. Oh, I've done both sides. Because I still need to get this wheeled about because it's uh, it's just in ruined. So uh, these are ones off at car. Uh, again, 35,000 mile. Still as crusty as old. But uh, they've done less mileage than van ones, so they're exactly the same. So I'm going to clean them up, get them a lick of black small right, and uh, I think jobs are good. Like I said, that's dead harness. So, what's next on agenda? <sighs> All interior that's got to be stripped out, because front seats out of that are really nice, they're going in van. Carpet out of that's going in this van because it had a rubber mat before and rubber mat were were wore out if you see there where it, uh, where it driver's feet goes uh, that would all wore through but that's got a nice carpet in so I'm going to put carpet in instead uh, so yeah all dash is coming out of that because that's going in in that I'm gonna to have to alter mileage on it which ain't gonna be easy because van were a digital uh, a digital uh, mileage display and they're dead easy to uh, to alter with a laptop but that one is uh, it's old uh, old dial cro chronogra chronographic or whatever the bloody hell they call it uh, it's uh, it's old fashioned old fashioned type 34,000 mile so that's not going to be easy so Van have got a, uh, a digital speed uh, speed or attic gearbox. This has got a mechanical one, so uh, that's got to be changed. That's different, but uh, yeah. So plenty of work still to go, but steady progress. Uh, like I say, I've been dodging showers all weekend, so I've not got that much done. But uh, yeah, weather permitting, we should have all interior out at car. Wiring loom out, and then fun and games are trying to get that into here and make that wiring loom fit van like vi wiring loom because uh, wires to lights in bike are different, and wires to fuel tank, sender unit, and fuel pump are different. So, uh, yeah, some fun and games to be had. Uh, sorry, it's only been a short one again, but I just thought I'd keep you up to date. Bit of Sunday night viewing for us. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers for sticking with me. Uh, I know this ain't, uh, ain't normal run at mill uh, video for me, but like I say, I have been scratching to get a van to convert into a, a camper. But I'm going to have a look at one on Monday tomorrow. Uh, it's going through auction on Thursday, but I've booked a viewing to go and have a look at it tomorrow. So if it's going to be any good, it's blind. It's blind viewing on to blind bidding for auction it's online only so i want to go and make sure it vans right before i put a bid in so i'm going up to have a look at that tomorrow and uh, i'll let you know how that goes on next weekend so uh, we might have got another van to to make into a camper but time will tell right i'm waffling again now thanks for watching thanks for sticking with me see you in the next video see you later